Gambia's Independence Day, a chance for international diplomats to mingle and enjoy Jamé's hospitality in the grounds of State House, said to be Africa's smallest presidential palace. In this tiny African state, where very little happens, you might think there'd only be one topic of conversation, but HIV AIDS doesn't seem to be on the agenda. And when I tried to bring up the subject, not everyone was eager to talk. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Uh, I introduce myself. I'm Andrew Simmons, Bureau Andrew, Chief Al Jazeera Andrew, English. Andrew. We're here to film a documentary on the um, the campaign here by the, His Excellency the President. Watch the nervous glances of the U.S. Ambassador in the middle here as he tries to plan an escape route. A not too subtle walk away is his only option. Watching from the sidelines, some of Jamé's patients ushered in so that the dignitaries will be impressed with the president's healing powers. But there are some who are prepared to talk, and their diplomatic language doesn't dismiss Jamé's claims of a cure for AIDS and asthma. What we want His Excellency to do is to allow the international health institutions as soon as possible to come into the matter to establish the treatment he's given to these people and how far this treatment is going. And as soon as that is done, I tell you, I, we, we have no qualms, we have no problems with it. <laughs> I think we have to give him a chance. I think we have to give him a chance. He's African, and there are a lot of Africans who are expecting for new ways to be treated. Now we have to give time to time and see if it works. But uh, if he's doing something, I think uh, uh, it's worthwhile to see how it goes. And we have to wish him success. Finding someone who'll criticize Jame in front of a camera is much harder. Perhaps that's because those who do don't last very long here. Like the UN permanent representative, who was told to leave after suggesting that Jame's claims for a cure could encourage risky behavior and worsen Africa's AIDS tragedy. No sooner have the diplomats left than he's heading back to the treatment room for another long night of presidential healing. I must put to you some of the reaction to the project here. Uh, reaction from scientists such as Professor Jerry Kouvadier uh, from South Africa, an HIV researcher who says that you have violated every foundation of public health and science in making these claims. Now, how do you respond to that sort of I don't criticism? respond to a non-entity. But do you... Maybe he knows the origin of AIDS. Who is he to talk about what, what I do? So I will not respond because science is about natural laws. But is science about secrets? I don't owe that idiot any explanation, because he's an idiot. He doesn't know anything about science. Who is this fool to ask me about violating whose rules? Is he the one who makes rules? He claims that the science involved here... He doesn't know anything about it. Is he the one who... Mm -hmm. be, maybe he was part and parcel of those who created the virus in the first place, so he knows what should cure it and what should not cure it. But what is more important is, I do not... I do not 
I said, even we should not even waste time talking about an ignorant person. Professor Jerry Covadia is an internationally renowned expert on AIDS. He holds the Nelson Mandela Award for Health and Human Rights in recognition of his work towards understanding the HIV epidemic. President Jame has a high school certificate in biology and chemistry. All of Jame's patients are HIV positive. Some have been living with the virus for years. During their treatment, many patients gain weight and look physically better in the few weeks they've been under Jame's care. But AIDS experts will tell you that can be down to a variety of factors, not least the psychological effect on patients. They all want to feel better. They all desperately want the treatment to work. Just that can be enough to make the body fight back against the HIV virus. But it's only temporary. The virus is still there, in the body, gradually taking control. The best treatment so far, recognized by doctors the world over, is a lifetime taking antiretroviral drugs, or ARVs. These hold the HIV virus at bay. Jamais patients have to stop taking ARVs. It's a condition of their treatment. Their lives are in his hands. Do you think you're cured of AIDS? That yes. you're cured of HIV? I still have um, some, you know, level of viral load, um, but I believe in time I will be cured, yes. Do you think that if you carry on with the treatment, you could be cured? Yes, it, it will be cured. Today's session goes on until 4 a.m., and that isn't unusual. <laughs> You are laughing, you think that's funny? Everyone is exhausted. Does it concern you slightly that there could be an attitude within the public that the president has a cure for AIDS, we don't have to worry about it, and that could affect their behavior, their sexual behavior, and possibly cause a No, I don't think so, because I don't think uh, any the mere fact that uh, the hospital can fix fractures does not mean that anybody will stand and, or try to cross uh, a busy highway, knowing that if you are crossed without dying, you can, you can, the hospital can fix it. I don't think anybody would joke with AIDS. If you have seen what I've seen, you see the type of how people suffer. At close range, you see the, how people, uh, AIDS victims, how their bodies are destroyed. I don't think anybody in his, in his or her correct state of mind would really flirt with a disease like it. Jame's dream is to turn his country into the Dubai of Africa, a free trading, free enterprise economy. He wants to dramatically improve the standard of living of all Gambians. <laughs> Every night, the television news puts out more propaganda. But do Jame's claims of a cure for AIDS turn his country into an international laughing stock rather than a respected trading center? While Jame treats his patients at the State House, youngsters party the night away in the capital's nightclubs. Many of these young people are most at risk from AIDS and they seem to have been brainwashed into believing that HIV is curable. Do you believe that the president has got a cure for AIDS? Well, I believe it. I believe it. I believe my president is going to cure it because he's a doctor. Do you believe that the president of Gambia can cure HIV AIDS? Yeah, 100%. Let us try and believe. Because he's the first man to say it, and whatever he says, he does it. Let's have a hope and trust in him. A cure for AIDS is something that the world is yearning for. So if we see somebody who says he can do it, we should give that person a chance and support him. On Saturdays, asthma takes center stage. The treatment looks a bit like the one for AIDS. It's just that the blend of herbs is different, and it only takes five minutes to cure, apparently. 
The momentum behind these treatments seems unstoppable now. A hospital is being built just to care for Jamé's AIDS patients. A team of doctors is being specially trained to administer Jamé's concoctions. To his supporters, Jamé is a well-intentioned miracle worker. To his critics, he's a megalomaniac who risks harming AIDS awareness programs across a continent where the illness is already ravaging the population. But Jamé has no doubts. He says he's on a mission. Let me make one thing very clear. I'm not here to advertise my medicine. I'm not here to convince anybody. I'm not here to please anybody. I'm here to administer what I can do. And that's the most important thing.